Hey, I had a thought today. Um, like, even when I go exercise, or, okay, not always. Trust me, so much of the time I've got this cute mom bun or this little mop going on. And we stay home and that is so awesome. But when I get out and about, or even when I know my husband's coming home, I want to look nice. And so I have the easiest, quickest hairstyle. And, I mean... It helps me feel a little youthful, but it's so cute. And there's a couple different ways to do it. And so I'm just going to show you real quick. And I've also become a huge believer of hats because whatever's going on up here can totally be hidden. And that can sometimes be a huge blessing. So <coughs> I'm just going to show you real quick a couple things. And then I'll tie it all back together. So I'm legit just going to part it right down the middle. And I am not a middle part person, so... I'll just tell you why I'm doing this in a second. And then part that down. And take one side and just make sure they don't mix into one big bowl of hair. And on this side, I am going to do, well, you can do a normal braid, super cute. Mine kind of fall out, but that's such a cute look. And then I always put a hat on, but I'm gonna just show you my fishtail real quick. You know what, I'm gonna switch sides so that you can see it better. And, oh, that's cute too, pigtails, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to be looking at the mirror, but hopefully you can see my every little move here. And I did put this on my blog, just the simple fishtail tutorial, but sometimes a video is much more helpful. So, you are going to split it in two chunks. The only braid, well, maybe there's more braids, but that I have found that's two chunks and equal chunks and then just take a chunk whatever chunk you want you can do big you can do small I do somewhere in the middle and bring it across and then get a chunk and I always keep it with my hand keep this chunk and get a piece with my finger and then just don't let go of the other um, group of hair and they won't mix and then just keep doing that and you'll want to pull it tight if you want a loose one, that's fine, but we'll do that at the end. Don't do that now or else your braid will not stand. And then just keep going. And these ones do take longer until you get the hang of it. And then they can be a little faster. I always just take the piece from the outside so it wraps. And you see this awesome fishtail look. And like I say, my fishtails look different than others because I like a thicker fishtail. And... Most are very thin little pieces, but I do mine thick. But I love these braids because they stay the same wide, wideness, is that a word? All the way down. Are you seeing that? Okay, good, it looks like you are. And there's a little layer popping out, but I don't mind that. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay, I think I'll stop there so we don't get crazy. And hold that nice and tight. Get your teeny black rubber band or whatever color works best for you. And my hair's a little thick, so I don't know if I can do two around that. Okay, and that is someone calling me, so we're gonna end that real quick. And I've got my braid. And that's kind of cute if you want to be a cowgirl or something for Halloween. But mine is just a quick hairstyle. And I'll show you the same thing on this side. Now, I don't have a mirror to look in, so hopefully this one ends up decent. And hopefully this is helping you understand the fishtail better. Tighten that, bring it across, pull, bring it across, pull. As you can see, I use my this finger just to kind of guide the whole thing on both sides. I have the finger here, wrapping, here, wrapping, wrap. And then I pull it over just to kind of make sure you keep that piece all on its own. We're not mixing everything in. That's not as good without looking in the mirror, but that's okay. It's, it's a braid. And then I'm going to be sure to end that braid right where it ended this other one. So that there, there's some more. Okay, so Halloween costume. 
great. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these. I'm gonna pull them nice and big. I'm just gonna pull that out. And it's this cute style. It kind of takes it from like little girl braids to a style that, not that that's bad, but they look a little youthful because those tight hairdos seem to be so cute on little girls, but a little bit youthful sometimes. And so cute. Now, usually what I'll do is I'll put a baseball cap on or like a summer hat. Now would be a fall hat. And it just makes this super cute look. But since I don't have that with me right this minute, I'm just going to kind of mess it up a little bit, kind of pull some hairs out, these fall, and keep, continue to pull, tuck this, just make it this messy kind of fall look, and then start spraying. I'm going to pull here. I'm going to pull here. And I'm going to make it into something I love. And... You get these hairs falling, awesome. And look, two little braids turn you into looking like you spent tons of time on your hair. And it's so cute. And if you don't want to do that messy braid look, great, put on a baseball cap. Or leave it nice and clean looking. And these will kind of tend to fall out. And at least mine do. And they'll just look more like this and kind of falling. But guess what? It just gets cuter the more messy it gets. And then I just continue to spray it. And you have got such a cute, put a scarf on, put some earrings in, and that is a cute hairstyle. So, and with the fishtail. I was going to call it a French braid, but it's a fishtail. You can do this with any other braid as well. So, good luck!